Samantha Lee is Tyrese Gibson's ex-wife and she regrets leaving and she's given a little context. Main topic is, is the culture destroying marriage? Let's get to the emotions will only have you focusing on the negative. If I had different people in my ear at that time, I would not have made that decision. No, wow. I wouldn't. And that's the truth. I, um, I try my very best at this point in my life to be what I didn't have in that moment. Um, because I think that I was, <sighs> women were like, I'm an extremely emotional person. People that know me know that about me. I'm the kind of person that like, okay, I feel so strong blah, 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 and I can ruminate. I can get so lost in my thoughts. I know a lot of women are like that. Like we're a lot, not all of us, right? But some of us are just like a lot of men can be like that. But I know women specifically, the, there will be moments where they'll be like, I'm ready to, I'm ready to be done. I'm ready to be done. I'm ready to be done. I can't stand this. He don't do this. He don't do that. Blah, 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 blah. And we're just focusing on these things. And because you don't have, you don't have a certain um, person in your life to say, to check you and say, sis, what about this? What about this? What about these strengths? What about what he's not doing? What like those types of things. Um, that's, that can, that can get you thinking about the positive aspects of this person that you may not be thinking about when you're upset. You're only thinking about what you're mad about. Yeah. You're not thinking about all the other positive aspects of this person um, and so in those moments, you need somebody to be the, the person for that person. Yeah. Um, in those moments. All right. I think that's a good thing to discuss. Emotions will only have you focus on the negative. I think that is true. I don't, I don't hear too many people going to their council praising how great their relationship is going. Usually when you go to your counselors, always for something negative. And we know how bad, bad news travels, right? So, and when you're emotional, you have a tendency to, to discuss only negativity. There's nothing really positive that comes out of emotions for the most part, right? Maybe excitement, even though it is emotion, but usually when somebody are emotional, it usually leans on the negative side. And then they begin to only discuss and focus and lose um, hindsight as far as how great the person this person really is relationships are not perfect marriages are not perfect um, it takes work and a choice you have to wake up and choose to be in here and to fight for it and understand that we're going to have some differences or some disagreements and we might not be on the same page at times but you never lose focus on the real reason as to why you guys got together so let's go ahead and break this down emotions will only have you focusing on negative go ahead jay Real quick, I just want to ask a quick question. Do y'all think she's gaslighting? Yo, I've learned this term within the last two years. I'm not even sure if I'm using it correctly. Do y'all think she's gaslighting him? Because he's come out in the previous months. I mean, you know, we've watched him go through these emotions publicly due to this situation. And as of recent as the breakfast club interview he had, you know, he's kind of explaining and exposing a little further into the stuff that took place. So for her to then come out and be like, essentially saying like, he's right. Do you think that's a form of her gaslighting him? I haven't watched the entire interview um honestly i was ignorant to who she was because i've always seen her videos like her side by side videos but i didn't realize that was tyrese ex-wife i really didn't i i just always seen them side by side videos um me neither so um yeah right like how do we not know this is her but maybe we're just not that tapped in i don't know maybe we just not like everybody else enthralled into you know social media and that's the problem that we're talking about today right so um but as far as gaslighting, it, from what I know, it's refreshing for a woman, whether she's gaslighting him or not. I don't know. You might have to refresh that, that definition of that word, too. Well, I, I'm going to I was going to read the definition of gaslight. Gaslight okay. is a form of psychological manipulation in which the abuser attempts to sow self-doubt, 
and confusion in their victim's mind. Typically, gaslighters are seeking to gain power and control over the other person by distorting reality and forcing them to question their own judgment and intuition. Yeah, so to me, it sounds more like she's taking ability or accountability for having horrible friends and not really having the right people in her corner and saying pretty much that his emotions are valid. Like, you know, Tyrese is not ashamed to show us his emotions, no matter, you know, what men say, you shouldn't show your emotions. Blah, blah, blah. That's not Tyrese. Tyrese is going to be Tyrese, right? So I think it's more of a, a, um, acknowledgement because that's what men want right men you they want you to acknowledge what you did was wrong they want you to apologize because you were wrong they want you to be accountable because if you're not going to be accountable then this was a wash right <laughs> you never get that a lot of people don't get that you know i left because of this or that closure so you know like uh cookie was saying there's uh th his side her side and the truth well her side is sounding a lot like his side a little bit and acknowledging like, hey, you know, I gave this all I got and I was a good man. And, you know, she's pretty much saying I had the wrong people in my corner. I, now, I, I don't know. That's taken accountable for the people in your life. And now you have to be accountable for the divorce. So I, I, like I said, I haven't seen the whole interview, but I don't think it's gaslighting. I think it's actually a rare sighting of a woman saying I had a good man and I can't keep them. I fumbled it. Yeah. Yeah. And I, you know, to, to answer the question in terms of emotion, you know, have you, I mean, that's, that's accurate. I think even more so when there is in clarification, you know, a lot of times our emotions may come from our inability to articulate how we feel or the person we're dealing with inability of giving us clarity to validate or invalidate what we feel, you know, kind of just be vague about things, you know, <clears throat> with a, like a relationship, a woman and a man, you know, they're dating for a, a particular period of time. And, you know, the woman's emotion be like, you know, I think we need to make this official, you know, where the man is like, yeah, I don't know about that. You know, when you don't give a definite answer, like, nah, I don't want to be in a relationship right now. I'm cool being single, but you're still doing the things that indicate you want to be exclusive. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like when there's no defined, you know, when there's no defined, when there's no defined structure onto what you are, those emotions will, you know, have you thinking negative, negatively, like, is this person out dealing with somebody else? Why aren't we in a relationship? So I think when you have these emotions and there's nothing to define or validate them, then it turns out negative. 